It's the end of the year, and let's take the time to think about all the lapis we spent. Wow, so much lapis. And most of these were just tickets too. It's hard to imagine how many summons you'd do if you weren't limited to a budget of zero. But thanks to the sponsor of this video, the Amazon App Store, you might be able to do a bit more. Just imagine, you're going to purchase lapis. I've never seen this screen before. Lo and behold, I'm surprised to find out 18,000 lapis is about $100. But my brain recalls the magic and merriment or a calcum chest. Oh shoot, it's gone. I have no idea how this works. Nevertheless, if you plan to spend $100, I'm here to tell you you can spend 82 instead. That's such a weird number. Oh, but you see, through the Amazon App Store, you can get Amazon coins. 100 Amazon coins is equivalent to a dollar, and the Amazon App Store has bundles that let you buy more coins with less money. You've got bargains up to 20% off, saving up to $100. In order to get access to Amazon coins, you must be using the version of the game downloaded from the Amazon App Store. So make sure your current account is bonded beforehand, lest you lose all those valuable duplicates. Then, after downloading the game from the Amazon App Store, load your account back on to regain your progress. And now, you can purchase Amazon Coins! So if you're a spender looking for ways to get more out of your money, consider Amazon Coins. This is a pretty useful feature that can help you if you're budgeting, so if you're interested in this, Make sure to use the link in the video description as it supports this channel. Thanks again to Amazon App Store for sponsoring this video. And speaking of which, let's get back to it. We're at the end of 2022. Wow, it's been a journey. And we've seen a, a, a journey. Golden Riser's release marked the peak of Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. And no unit really eclipsed his sheer awesomeness, so I mean, what are we even doing here? The recent Final Fantasy VII event was a stark reminder between power creep and power creep. Attackers took the spotlight back from supporters with their own amazing amplification buffs. Special vision cards made their mark with incredible bonuses. We got a bunch of free select tickets, and I have made sure to use all of mine. Oh, uh-oh. The global team buffed one, three, maybe even five units this year. We might even make it to double digits soon, I'm sure of it. Intrinsic abilities were great, and then they were not so great, and then they were just sad. So hopefully we get intrinsic abilities for intrinsic abilities. The Clash of Foes equipment awards continue to dominate builds, and the ultra dark dark vision weapons were too expensive for 99% of the player base. The user interface got immense updates, enhancement units were zapped into points, and the turtles were stuffed into the pockets, finding them is now impossible. My lapis climbed all the way up to 200,000, but the game released a good unit and it fell back down to, well, I'm still winning. Trust coins haven't been touched all year. Star Quartz hasn't been touched all year. The gingerbread man has visible abs, so whoa ho ho, touch, touch, touch. Collaborations, collaborations. But we didn't get that TikTok collaboration, so maybe next year. But I think I've gone on long enough. So let's see, who tops the charts? First, damage. The main thing we consider here is maximum numbers and nothing more. However, in a stark change to previous rankings, I am now destroying the equipment limitations. No longer is a unit gatekept by equipment taken from another. No longer are units limited by their own kits. This game is all about teamwork, equipment, strategy, and getting all the good stuff. Ironically, this actually makes this portion of the video useless to me because I actually don't have all the good stuff. Fire damage, physical. Cloud might need to be dispel wiped to clear his lightning and beal but you might not always be able to do so. Still, the top three units have incredible strength, surpassing fourth and fifth places even with a weaker amplification buff. 150% is nevertheless substantial, allowing Sabin and Tyvus and Yeesh to carve their mark. Fire damage, magic. Ingus is the surprising dark horse of this list, but having Ingus reach that strength requires the help of Merleth, who herself isn't that great. You may be better off bringing someone like Olive and freeing up Merleth's slot. Ice damage, physical. Without that 150% amplification buff, Tyvus and Ish fall to the wayside. A cool smile is a big boon for Jizuru, allowing her to surpass the shrink of 150% Edgar. Ice damage, magic. With Ayaka's release, Regina Cannon, final, is able to surpass the shrink of Meteor, and this still has room to grow. Nevertheless, this new ice buff still aids the Meteor users, Angela and Ayaka herself, who might even be more preferable with her kit. Lightning damage, physical. 
Cloud really cements its position here with a whopping 150% amplification buff, and Riku's large damage modifiers allow her to just edge out Chizuru. The lack of Esther here really hits home the big difference in ultimate potential nowadays, but this ranking only measures burst instead of speed. Lightning damage, magic. Ingus shows up once again, though this time he doesn't need Sakura to return to actually be there to help him. However, he does need Sage, but I mean, that's not as bad as Merilith. Water damage, Physico. The special equipment for Titus lets him edge out 2B with greater attack. Jet is also surprisingly impressive. Water damage, Magic. The Dazzling Demoness substantially pushes the modifier of Meteor, and Meteor's flexibility allows the Meteor Bros to dominate the damage charts as you've seen so far. Olive requires dispel shenanigans like Cloud. Wind damage, Physico. With the lack of good wind amplification, Saiten and Sky are able to surpass the triple threat. In fact, with lower wind amplification, the latter two robots actually lose to Eliza and Chizuru. Wind damage, magic. Since this is the same chart as water, I've got the time to talk about Angela, who honestly takes too long to be really practical nowadays. Regina actually has the potential to rise in the rankings depending on how many units you dedicate to support her. I went with one for the bare minimum, but you can tell there's far more room to grow. Earth damage, physical. Ben Harmo weighs in with his incredible attack stat. Though unfortunately, he really doubles down on Earth. Earth damage, magic. A night of gift giving allows Tsukiko to further strengthen herself, allowing her to displace Olive. Angela also has store, which is probably a bit unfair, given it really takes too long. Light damage, physico. The lack of good amplification lets Tyvus and Ish reappear, though honestly, a bunch of other units might be able to make fifth place with some changes to the guidelines. Still, there's no way to argue against the robot strength here. Light damage, magic. A hard-hitting sage allows Regina to take the top of light, and 150 surge beats out the meteor pack. Unfortunately for the other three, they have substantially weaker amplification buffs, and Angela also needs store to maintain her position. Dark damage, physico. Dark's poor support allows Pearl to beat out Cloud, A2 and 2B, but they're still good enough to beat Dark Lock Pain. This of course can change depending on the fields you've got in play. Dark damage, magic. Dark's poor support strikes once again, allowing Lynx to top the list. And in terms of flexibility, I imagine it's a bit obvious now, but anyways, here you go. As for morale fights, elements play such a substantial role that I decided to go, whatever, and just give you the top 10 damage dealers. We got a handful of element lock damage dealers that are also incredibly powerful, possibly able to kick some units out of frame, but as you know, what's best depends on the fight. Tanks, Physico, defensive capabilities only. EX plus 3 Runda may have the playing field level with everyone else, but the others still don't match his mitigation. Gabrin's buff substantially raises his sturdiness, though you may want to watch out for other aspects. I didn't include elemental resistance and killers since that depends on the fight. Tanks, Magico. Once again, defensive capabilities are the guidelines here. Caesar's bulk beats up Ash and Charlotte, though all three are incredible picks, while with Ash's support and Charlotte's passives. Chao lags a bit behind in terms of sturdiness, but has his own fun tricks to set him apart. Hyunk is good, but fifth. Support, buffs. 400% staff buffs see Yuna joining the column. Limit burst damage also sees a few more units. We also see Siso intruding on Esther's territory. Modifier buffs are a thing I still have no idea how to categorize. Ah, uh, Sylvia is still amazing though. Support, elements. Fire, Lefsha, Rain, Roberta, Chao. Ash, Support, Ice, Ayaka, Bravia, Celeste, Yoshikiri, Roberta, Support, Lightning, Sylvie, Sakura, Roberta, Sylvie, Conch, Support, Water, Yuna, Nico, Poppy, Kaido, Yoshikiri, Support, Wind, Poppy, Bulwark, Chizuru, Frisia, Bart, Support, Earth, Sylvie, Tsukiko, Raka, Ehana, Maeve, Support, Light, Poppy, Fina, Aerith, Chow, Kryla, Support, Dark, Dark Fina, Kryla, Bulwark, Yigni, Oliveira, Support, Fields, Fire, Terra, Kid, Louise, Rain, Fields, Ice, Terra, Fravia, Luna Freya, Fields, Lightning, Dagger, Terra, Ferris, Luna Freya, Fields, Water, Ferris, Luna Freya, Fields, Wind, Ferris, Fields, Earth, Ferris, Nunafreya, Diverti, Fields, Light, Dagger, Fina, Surge, 
Fina, Fields, Dark, Yuna, Dark Fina, Lynx, Seymour, Support, Killers, Aquatic, Frisia, Nico, Roberta, Tiana, El Matale, Killers, Beast, Axtar, Eldrin, Ehana, Rosa, Ayaka, Killers, Birds, Fina, Bulwark, Sedan, Kefka, Celeste, Killers, Bugs, Sylvie, Ehana, Edge, El Matale, Roberta, Killers, Demons, Sylvie, Dark Fina, Wilk, Kaido, Reagan, Killers, Dragons, Ehana, Rosa, Wilk, Kaido, Celeste, Killers, Humans, Ehana, Yoshikiri, Hava, Elena, Vaughn, Killers, Machines, El Matale, Ash, Yoshikiri, Kaido, Lefsha, Killers, Plants, El Matale, Sakura, Chizuru, Bulwark, Tiana, Killers, Reapers, Rosa, Yuna, Yuna, Ling, Ehana, Killers, Stone, El Matale, Sylvie, Ash, Ayaka, Raka, Killers, Spirits, Ash, Kaido, Riku, Bulwark, Fina, Species Mitigation, Aquatics, Jet, Celeste, Warrior, Biggs and Wedge, Yuna, Mitigation, Beast, Guy, Mont, Barret, Galif, Chow, Mitigation, Birds, Bulwark, I can't think of anyone else. Mitigation, Bugs, Charlotte, Roberta, Noppy, Mitigation, Demons, Warrior, Hyunko, King Bihimi, Kaido, Oliveira, Mitigation, Dragons, Charlotte, Warrior, Kaido, Roberta, Noppy, Mitigation, Humans, Mont, Barret, Guy, Seymour, Kresnik, Mitigation, Machines, Ash, Siso, Barret, Afmau, Biggs and Wedge, Mitigation, Plants, Galif, Mazurka, Bulwark, Poppy, Mitigation, Reapers, Warrior, Barret, Siso, Lilith, Seymour, Mitigation, Stones, Daisy, Ash, Hyunko, Lilith, Sylvie, Mitigation, Spirits, Daisy, Vane, Jet, Kaido, Yuna, Elemental Resistance, Aw, Lucas, Siso, Sylvie, Elena, Mont, Fire, Barret, Charlotte, Tsukiko, Tiana, Hein, Ice, Ayaka, Hein, Yoshikiri, Roberta, Lightning, Sylvie, Jet, Riku, Esther, Tiana, Water, Jet, Kakteria, Tiana, Lunafreya, Yoshikiri, Wind, Barret, Charlotte, Chizuru, Tiana, Barbaricha, Earth, Sylvie, Kakteria, Tsukiko, Ayaka, Tiana, Light, Siso, Hyanko, Tsukiko, Ash, Ayaka, Dark, Lilith, Siso, Seymour, Pearl, Hyunko, Elemental Resistance, Fields, Fire, Yuna, Lena, Fields, Ice, Yuna, Kid, Fields, Lightning, Braska, Fields, Water, Fields, Wind, Lena, Fields, Earth, Lena, Fields, Light, Links, Lena, Fields, Dark, Surge, Imperos, Fire, Vaughn, Kid, Rain, Olive, Ingus, Ice, Ish, Edgar, Lightning, Edge, Riku, Water, Lulu, Kaido, Laguna, Ingus, Wind, Emperor, Sedan, Lena, Chizuru, Ingus, Earth, Tulian, Ingus, Light, Kuja, Reagan, 2B, A2, Dark, Gobez, Axtar, Imperos, Fields, Fire, Ingus, Tyvis and Ish, Tsukiko, Lena, Ice, Tyvis and Ish, Mog, Lightning, Sakura, Water, Nico, Ingus, Wind, Ellie, Ingus, Mog, Earth, Tsukiko, Ingus, Seagard, Light, Tsukiko, Nyx, Dark, Renoa, Imperos, Weapons, Daggers, Zidane, Kid, Ling, Lock, Hawkeye, Swords, Tidus, Fravia, 2B, Elena, Elena, Greatswords, Cloud, Tyvis and Ish, Siso, Cloud, Esther, Katanas, 2B, Chizuru, Kaido, Tyvis and Ish, Saiten, Staffs, Yuna, Chow, Yuna, Virian, Kaido, Rods, Emperor, Ellie, Ayaka, Aerith, Realm, Bows, Fina, Virian, Riku, Kaido, Lock, Axis, Wilk, Van Harma, 2B, Tulian, Ignatio, Hammers, 2B, Maeve, Pearl, Kaido, Spears, Ish, Roberta, Sky, Balthier, Kane, 
Instruments, Bulwark, Oliveira, Yuna, Kaido, Axtar and Cleo, Wits, Dark Fina, Kaido, Throne Weapons, Tidus, Yoshikiri, Tiana, Lock, 2B, Guns, Luis, Olive, Laguna, Lightning, Althier, Maces, Ash, Poppy, Kaido, Lilith, Fizz, Sabin, Cacteria, Wilk, Carton, 2B, Breaks, Attack, Kaido, Cacteria, Lock, Venera, Jack, Magic, Kaido, Cacteria, Lock, Hyunko, Siso, Defense, Venera, Lock, Hawkeye, Wilk, Lara Croft, Spirit, Olive, Luis, Lightning, Kaido, Emperor, Support, Mitigation. This is mainly abilities rather than tanks, though it won't always translate to a essential unit. Support, everything else. Personally, I recommend Thresnek, Sylvie, or King Behemi for the four general stuff. Though honestly, it's really more mix and match depending on the fight. Notably, we haven't really gotten anyone who covers a lot nowadays. Alright, that's it. We're done. Bye!